hello you guys welcome welcome back so this is going to be for gemini no contact hi gems i hope you guys are doing very very well we're gonna see what's going on with when it comes to you and this person that you're thinking about um this person that might be on your mind this person that might be thinking about you what's the energy um i want to see their energy as well so we're gonna tap into your spread first and see what you're gonna give me and then just tap into their energy later on i have my tea here so mm, i'll be sipping on that okay <laughs> all right so let's see what we have for gemini's i think i need to use another deck being called here yeah, to switch okay thank you angels what's going on for gemini no contact what's the energy this beautiful wednesday what's the energy for gemini no contact of swords definitely no contact you guys this is what i'm seeing like your first card and definitely this person is having some kind of authority like no contact here i feel like there is a huge decision that needs to be made when it comes to this energy look at that the two of cups you're saying that you guys were perfect together and it's unfortunate but I feel like this is unfinished business, unfortunately, because there is still like this tendency of you and this person like really want to to see where things go here. But there's this pride. Yeah, there's going to be communication. This is what I'm seeing here. The Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot. This person is making their way to you. They're making their way to you. I mean, you're saying this ended really quickly, suddenly, this relationship. Like, first it just started really fast, and then suddenly it just ended very quickly. And you got in this energy of protecting yourself mentally. This person wants a new beginning, but they don't know how to go about it. And I feel like it's the it's the it's like you and this person is feeling the same way. No communication. Want a new beginning, but don't know how to go about this. It's like you make you you work really well together. This is what I'm seeing here. But at the same time, it's like you go through a lot mentally with this person and often and you guys are really like I'm getting this big blowout and you just disappear or they disappear. So I'm having the four of swords here. And it's in the upright. So it's like someone leaves at a long period of time you don't know what's going on you don't know this might what's be happening right now between you and this person the seven of pentacles the fools yeah look at that they want to come back it's like i'm getting investment i'm getting a new beginning i'm getting jumping very quickly i'm not seeing like you and this person is going to reflect on the past um when you guys do jump into this new energy i feel like it's going to be like something new it's going you're going to be working really hard together i feel like you're going to be trying to build an empire empire together even leaving a family behind or working towards a family working towards some kind of fulfillment stability okay but you have the ten of wands here the eight of wands there is a lot of love here there's a lot of burden too that makes you just want to walk away but there's a, a equally enough love the two of cups this is what i'm seeing here equally there is a lot of love here and i feel like you're both like on the same page when it comes to maturity but i feel like there's going to be some things that this person needs to tell you about 
that might have you go back into this roller coaster of a tower, of a cycle, I should say. We have the Queen of Wands. Like you want to, you guys have a lot of similar energies about you. First of all, Gemini, your energy is coming up really, really, you know, you know, here. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Um, I'm also having Cancer here that's coming through, a lot of emotion. So there is um this balance, you know, with energies. And I'm also getting Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra here too. But I'm also getting Scorpio, Aries here in the tower. I feel like this is Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is what Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It's a lot of energies. You have like um all four signs, right? All four signs here, all four elements, right? So you and this person, it's like you're not vibrating the same frequency right now, but you have similar things. And the reason why, it's not all bad when you're not vibrating the same energies. It's just that you're different. You're two different souls here. This is what I'm seeing here. It's not confirmed to be a soulmate connection, but I'm getting two cups. <sighs> and you're looking at each other. And then I'm getting like this, this, this similar energy between you and this person. One is like, look, you know, being really stubborn right now, being really manipulative right now. And the other is like, okay, I need to let you know how I feel. But I'm going to also be open to hear you out, you know? Like, this is, this is what I'm seeing here. So it's like a form of, it's like, it's hard to deal with this person because they're in that energy. But if they were in the upright, it's similar. It's similar, you know? And I'm seeing the similar, similarities right now between you and this person. But it's like, you're definitely, just this person is a little bit off. Like someone is a little bit off that's really trying to hold the power here and saying that you're not going to talk to me unless I'm ready kind of vibe. And then your energy is coming off as someone that is really hurt, someone that you've been, you know, you really invested in within this relationship. This is what I'm seeing here. And it's like, you nurture this, this rose, you know? And it's not like you don't want to still protect it in the reverse, but you're just done enough for yourself now. You need to be nurtured, you know? So I'm seeing the seven of pentacles. I'm seeing the fools. I'm seeing the, the king of pentacles. This is a beautiful cards in my hand right now. It's like huge form. When you guys jump in, you jump in with love and focus and nothing could tell you any different. And, you know, it's like this person is giving you that full attention, that full stability that you want. And then when things get too heavy, I'm seeing like where the problem lies. You know, I feel like the focus lose as fast as it comes and you lose it. But then the love with the Eight of Wands, this journey, this is a journey for you and this person and this maturity, so this is good. But there's a lot of things when they're missing in action that they need to let you know about. Something has been missing with you, like you have, someone stole something and you never know what happened to it. I feel like you're gonna find out about that pretty soon. With this tower, it's like you're making this happen as soon as, as soon as you hear about the truth with this situation. All right, so let's shuffle. The high front in reverse codependency here. Someone is whispering in this person's ears. We have the Ten of Cups and then the Six of Cups. So soulmate connection confirmed. But you guys are just not in the right place. So this person did a lot of things to you. That you were just like bringing up from the past. <sighs> this is what I'm feeling like. You're bringing up a lot of things from the past that this person have done to you. And... It's like they, you know this person, you know, they. this is what they do. And then it's like nothing. They want to come back and act like nothing never happened. But it really affects you. And I feel like this is something you need to let this person know. Like, it's not going to be the same each time you do this. And um, I'm not going to, eventually I'm not going to come back. You just have to let them know how you feel. Because obviously you're, you're, um, your feelings are changing here when it comes to them. 
but the Ten of Cups is something that you feel like you still want with this person. Your 1111 is just like, oh, we could be happy together, but why are you acting this way? Why are you not taking me seriously? It's like they're trying to jump edges in this relationship instead of doing things traditionally. They're like, I need to do this. It's like, for example, let's get pregnant before marriage or, you know, let's move in um, before getting married or something like that. They're just like jumpy, jumpy. Like they're not very traditional and this could be spiritually afflicted or as well like they just don't have any spiritual <sighs> tendencies and this could be a dampener in your relationship because it's like they're challenging you a lot with your beliefs and who you are as a person I feel like you don't have what you want from this person or you're not getting that, you know, that um, fulfillment that you want from this person. And you truly do want this because this person reminds you of home, something about them. So you guys could have knew each other since, you know, you were young or even a past life. This is a past life contract. It's like something familiar about this person. And you don't know what it is. This is what I'm seeing here. So I'm also getting the world in reverse. We have the three of swords. We have the five of cups. Whatever heartbreak this is or, you know, disappointment that you went through with this person. Clearly, there's unfinished business between you and them. You know, this is what I'm seeing here. But you kind of like release this energy like... It, it, you're saddened by it you feel like this person doesn't choose you you know you feel like you're not chosen you feel like this person abandoned you and then we have the star here in reverse wow in the knight of wands it's like i'm getting like soon as you're like giving up on this relationship because i'm getting like you're losing hope you're losing faith like you don't see this person like how you used to and it's like the star is in reverse you don't look at them as your star anymore and like i said it's like you have this tie with them but the, their actions are what's killing this relationship they're acting like they're very young like when it comes to the way they approach you when things go wrong they, they have options or they're still like they're appearing to be looking or flirtatious I see like a determination, like a passion towards you and they're racing towards you to hold on to this relationship with this Knight of Wands. But at the same time, it's like the the energy that I'm picking up is an energy of like, okay, like there is, the, I do have other options, <laughs> like, you know, kind of vibe. So let's do the divine energy because I like to let's implement this deck. A lot of my readings. No contact, please. What is the advice? What is the energy that you would like to let Gemini in on? So this is going to be a transition for you, and I feel like a lot of you are afraid of this, but the angels want you to let go, okay, and let things happen, let things flow. Remain loving because your energy was the queen of wands in reverse where you are into yourself and you should be You should choose yourself, but at the same time don't let this person Turn you into that if you are energy of love or a beacon of love. You are just love. That's who you are, right? You're having a lot of dreams a lot of visions from your divine a lot of you are praying and they're answering you So you're waking up with a knowing a feeling you feeling like there is going to be a huge truth that is going to re be revealed i'm seeing you have an inner calling and knowing your purpose when you wake up from these dreams of having these and you're like what the hell is that me in that dream being so powerful and so confident yeah you're getting back your power you know and your divine is showing you all of this um then we have toxic anxiety stressful um, situation a lot of you are dealing with the nine of swords this is what i'm seeing here 
and going back and forth with yourself because you're in fear. You're in fear. You don't want things to change. You don't want to go through this painful transition. You don't want to be alone. But you know in this relationship, in the Five of Cups, you already feel alone. There's nothing. <laughs> you already feel alone. Um, the High Divine of Air, again, a download of, or an upgrade, I should say, of information that you're going to suddenly be aware of or know or learn. This is what I'm seeing and this is coming from, this is like a gift from your divine. And then we have the, the divine, well, the high divine of earth, which I feel like a lot of you might be getting a lot of earth tone energies in your life, like Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But I'm also feeling with this energy is definitely energy of being comfortable with self and being entwined with who you are and loving who you are and being able to look into the mirror and say that you love yourself and I forgive myself for everything that I didn't or couldn't do or I felt like I failed doing, you know, because no one is perfect. We all make mistakes. And I just feel like you, by looking at yourself and, and being down, grounded in this moment, with your divine putting this earth energy in your life. It's like everything around you now is going to be magnified from the roses to the trees to the grass. Everything is going to look so much brighter and so much greener. And then you're going to realize that you have this deep meaning of everything. Like if you just are becoming who you're supposed to be. And then we have past life issues. And a lot of you are going to be having this energy and really using it to deal with a lot of Ten of Swords, a lot of transitions, a lot of closing, a lot of, you know, really taking responsibility for things that you could have done correctly. And then letting go of things that you didn't have that strength or protection to protect yourself in this moment, you know, or even forgive those that couldn't protect you when they should have. That was their job in that time. So I'm seeing love angel number angel number 101. If you're seeing this number, it means even on a watch when you, if you have a clock, it's definitely your soulmate is coming towards you. They're going to be reaching out to you. Um, very very soon okay and you're going to it's going to be a huge um and i feel like this is a soulmate connection and they're going to be reaching out you know um this is what i'm feeling here so tell me. wow i love you and then angel number seven 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 you're being blessed. Everything that's going on right now, there's just like this uh, sprinkle of good luck. Good luck for this opportunity that's going to be presenting itself to you. I feel like it's going to have a huge form of fulfillment. This is a dream of yours. So this could be your relationship being very, very successful and actually working out. Or this could be, you know, something new coming into your life that you always wanted. But this is a time when you see this number to stay focused on yourself. All right. To remember yourself and the things that you wanted and the things that you dreamt about. So you have two angel numbers that's coming through here. So one more. Okay. Soulmate is confirmed, you guys. Look at that. Okay. So your soulmate is on the way. Um, yeah, for those of you, I already feel like this is a soulmate connection. I have the Six of Cups here, the Two of Cups, and I'm also seeing the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords in, in, in this reading together. A form of sim similarities between you and this person. And there is a contract as well with the Six of Cups. This person feels like they know you from somewhere, the past, if it's childhood or even a past life. This is a contract, so your soulmate has already brought their way to you. But I feel like you and this person is going through a lot of difficulties, you know? when it comes to the energy so since we have the soulmate here we're going to have a few other messages all right 
I have to watch the time because I have a couple of readings scheduled for today. Okay, let me just make sure we are on schedule because your girl, okay, perfect. Okay, let's see here. What's going on? Ooh, Lord, you see that? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take all of them. I'm just gonna pick up, I wanted more, and not more, less, but your angels have other situations. All right, so the first one I see here, this could be the one. Then we have getting to know each other, and I feel like getting to know each other all over again. This is what I'm feeling here. Getting to know each other all over again. Do you, like, I feel like the fools, the number zero, you know, starting over from scratch. And this is the energy that I had for you and this person. It's like everything is happening and you're starting over from scratch. That's the vibe. Then we have children, for some of you. Um, your love life is being affected by children. So a lot of you could have kids together. Ooh, Okay. All right, separation, past life relationship is also being confirm confirmed. I'm about to say, confirmed here as well. So, like I said before, the Six of Cups, but there's a huge transition that's happening between you and this person. This is a no contact read, so obviously there's a separation here. There's no communication, but there will be. Okay, I'm seeing chemistry. Okay. Then we also have, it is safe to love. Give your relationship a chance. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Release your ex. What is that about? I feel like this person and you are definitely a um, separation. So you're, you're in this energy of like, should I stay, should I go? I think it's like you're trying to clear your energy with this with this situation pay attention to the red flags that are also showing up here attraction i'm also seeing heart to heart conversation is going to take place and i feel like i already clarified this energy i'm seeing a conversation that has occurred but i feel like it's like you and this person is a little bit different you know the way you guys are is a little bit different that's what i'm feeling it's like you're going to have a great time having this conversation. It depends who you, where you are in this um, situation. You could be the one that is really upset and has cut this person off, or you could be the one that um, is going to be, you know, open enough to, to talk to this person. So, but I'm seeing an energy that is not open and is really upset, and I see an energy that is going to be like, okay, I'm going to judge this situation. I am going to um keep an open mind i'm also going to try to understand where you're coming from but at the end of the day a decision need to be made for us or between us you know kind of vibe so tell me more when it comes to the angel messages i feel like it's bothering both of you because you're so into each other but at the same time, you're going through so many difficulties and it's a part of just learning each other. What's okay, what's not okay. Ooh, the angels are saying compromise, don't stop. This is what I'm seeing here. So there's a there's going to be like a, a lot of you are going to be getting back together. Okay, so this is not over like I thought. Okay, what is this? We have no here. Then we have meditation, bring answers. I feel like the angels don't want you to do anything um, or take anything in your own hands. Let them bring everything together for you. And I feel like this has been said in a lot of your dreams. You know, I'm seeing them talk to you with this meditation. It's like you could be meditating and have this to upload or you could be dreaming and have this upload. But, you know, leave things alone the way it is because the energies are going to be flowing. Just because you're not doing anything doesn't mean that the energies are not moving. 
listen to your intuition yep they're speaking to you okay within the next few weeks i'm seeing you speaking to this person within the next few weeks i'm seeing a conversation this could be six weeks from now it depends on your situation honestly could this be three or six um if this person feels safe enough I see like it's going to be someone coming towards you and trying to bring you out together, most likely a friend or some kind of family member, because I'm seeing like you're being scold, you know? Like, y'all yeah, can't do this <laughs> kind of vibe. I'm seeing success here. So this is going to be leading to success. Okay, opportunity as well is also coming out here. So I'm seeing money bring it coming back into this relationship. I'm seeing good investments. I'm seeing that you're happy. I'm seeing like, finally, oh my God, it happened. Yeah, I was worried. <laughs> I was worried kind of vibe. Okay. Communicate clearly within the next few months. I'm seeing you move into some other new place or a new home. Or thinking about moving somewhere else. I'm seeing like this is a big place. It's like surprise, surprise the universe have for you. This is what I'm seeing. It's like this is like your dream home or something about your dreams is coming to life within the next within the next few months. So this is happening very quickly for you and this person. So if you need help, it's okay. Like your family is there. Like you're going to be surprised when you open your mouth and ask for help or assistance. Who's going to come and assist. Get more information here. There's something else that you need to know about. And I feel like this conversation is going to be the beginning of everything for you and this person. And then we have perfect timing. Yeah, divine timing needs to be at play here. All right, so I'm getting like, you know, focus on your health, focus on your spirituality, focus on your mental health. Everything needs to be entwined here and continue to be at alignment with each other. Should, nothing should be off. If, if something is off, you're not going to feel your greatest self. This is what I'm hearing. So let's see what the universe... I was going to get into this person's energy, but I feel like we're not going to have enough time. So I'm going to just see what the universe have for you when it comes to advice. Okay, tell me more for no contact, please. For Gemini's no contact. <clears throat> Ooh, see, it's coming up again. Your health. Understand your body. It's like a lot of you are stressing out and not focusing on yourself and not, not appreciating, not loving your body the way you should. And then you're going to love your body when it's least too late. This is what I'm seeing here. So you need to start eating healthy. You need to stop stressing out of things that you can't control. You need to let God you need to let go and let God like attract like. So remember to be positive and bring out positivity. Just because somebody's throwing a stone at you doesn't mean to pick up that stone and throw it back at them. That's not how karmic energy works, okay? Sets healthy intentions. It's time to remove anything that's negative from your path in your life. You know what that is and try to replace it with, um, well, remove negativity and try to replace it with positive energy. This is something that's going to help you with your health as well because I'm seeing like you need to remove the, the what what's really messing up your health is the negativity that is around you. OK, appreciate your talent and know that you're here to do a lot and don't just let it waste. You have so many things that you can use to actually make money. I'm seeing like you open a lot of doors and haven't finished anything really. 
and the angels are saying, hey, could you, can you continue to do this? I mean, you have so many gifts that we have given you, right? Then we have kindness counts as well. Again, ooh, like attract likes. Kindness counts. Remember to be kind. Remember to be kind, y'all. When you are kind to others, doesn't even matter if someone was mean to you. I know that it really affects you. Like, if you're being kind to someone and then they're mean to you and you're like, oh, God, why did I even do that? That was embarrassing. No, it's not. Because that person is going to go and walk away and say, damn, you know, you never, they, they, I feel like they're going to beat up themselves from saying, why did I do that to that person? You know, that's, that's, that's something that they have to deal with. Do your part. This is what I'm seeing here. One more, please. One more. Okay. Every one has value. And then we have, I keep getting this card. Make each day count. I think you had this yet in your last reading. And here it is again. This is what I have for you when it comes to the no contact read. I hope that this resonates for all of you. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. But if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description. But if you want a personal read with me, I do have that special for $50. It's 12 minutes for 50 So if you're interested in that, um, just know that um, I will respond to you by email. So email me at the scene tarot at gmail.com. The channel name gmail.com. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm gonna leave you with this and I will see you guys in your next one.